I will try to get as much footage as I can and we'll just have some fun. Thank you guys for watching. If it is your first time here, please like, subscribe, and share. Peace! Okay, so we're gonna go get our ticket. I saw two squirrels. Alright, so we just got our tickets. It was $46 including parking. So if you park in their parking lot, you have to pay for that. So it was $46. Now we're going through. Hi guys, how are you all doing? Hello. How are you doing? Good. Good. You're all set. I have Thank fun. you. Alright, so there's this here. Which side do you want to go first, Scully? Alright, so we're inside. Oh, we're looking at the pies now. So this is. Is that a Hyacinth Maca? I hope that's how it's pronounced. I'm not sure. They don't even want to fly away. <laughs> Ooh, and we got some lovebirds in the house. Aww, that's so cute. <laughs> All right, so these are showing you guys what they have at the zoo, like the different animals and so forth. And you can always go to the information center if you need, like, if you need extra information then whatever questions you have they can answer it and this is where you know you can buy souvenirs for the kids uh, i passed the phase a long time ago so i'm not gonna get anything all right so these are the white cheeked gibbon that is so cool all right look i'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's giving us a show. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. He's like, yes. Look at me. I can do this. Look at me. Alright, so after you've walked into the zoo and uh, it's not like a long walk but it is like a nice little trail and you can look at birds and stuff then you get to the crossing and it shows you where each particular animal is so if you go to your right then you will see alligators you'll see your tigers and kangaroos and stuff and then if you go to your left you'll see the spider monkey the porcupines and flamingos it should go to right, Australia so, right now <laughs> we're gonna go see the kangaroos and I don't really know anything about kangaroos besides you know the movie kangaroo jack they jump they, they jump, punch they kick they're violent but these as you can see they're very calm okay, come on. they're just laying around okay all right so there's a kangaroo and then this is where you can read about like the information about them so that whole dust to tail the habitat of the red kangaroo includes scrubby grassland and hot desert areas with some trees for shades and then there's additional information okay to the kangaroos joey skippy alex all right he's moving let's move oh god there's one up there he's moving i know that's curly i am very close to him He's looking at me. He's like, yeah. If she does something, I'ma punch her out. But this is so cool, guys. Alright, so look at that ostrich eggs. Look at that. They're huge. Ostrich eggs. Yep. Look how big they are. Yep. Those are some big birds. Look at that. You know, I saw this video once of someone baking. They were baking an ostrich, right? Yeah. They killed it and it took like forever because the meat is so hard and takes a long time to cook. Then we have zebras. Oh. Okay, with your mind like Alright, so what do you guys do when you are feeling. I'm not gonna say depressed because. Depressed is like 
the deepest largest sea and a lot of people don't exactly fall into it so what do you feel what do you do when you're feeling sad or alone are you just you're way too inside of your head and you need like an outlet what do you guys do well for me i love just walking i love exploring i'll go to the lake if i was in jamaica you know i just i'd go by the beach but i can't so i just try to do something else and so we're inside where you can see the alligators and then they have the information on the wall if you're in the learning mode you can always read <laughs> okay that's big yes yes i want to see these just baby monkey all right so turn me off my glasses i couldn't see i didn't know where this big spider was they're bears Alright, so this animal, little, but him talawa. His job, I mean, I'm not gonna say really him job, but Pudu Poop helps the rainforest grow. I'm not sure if that's how his name the, is pronounced. What is it called? Is it Pudu? Pudu. <laughs> but they're so little, yet so important, you know. They're hiding all the way over there in the bushes. Like Jamaican bad man. Alright, so guys, now we're gonna go see the bear. Come on. Yeah, the bear have nice place. So where I want to say is... nice, I mean nice for a zoo because you know it's always better when they're out in the wild. But most of these animals are domesticated, so it would not be wise to just put them back out there. That's an ugly looking bear. That is that ugly. It's cute. I guess they're not in the mood for people today. It's so cool, but it's kind of you know sad. I'm not sure how big their enclosure is, but imagine being stared at in a cage all your life. All right, guys, so we were not able to see the bears, but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go take a walk. I came here to refresh, we rewind, so I'm gonna just enjoy the scenery. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Do you think they have pandas around here? This reminds me of Holland Bamboo. Like, look at it. It is so beautiful. And the breeze, so fresh, so nice. And right here is perfect for pictures. Well, no. I'm making an earring on my head. I'll help me big up Jamaica. Like just looking at the bamboo, Holland bamboo may I see in my mind. Like this is really, really nice. Help me big up Jamaica, the land of food. It's a hornbill. What is it? Uh, hornbill. Ooh, that's so cool, girl. look at that. Okay, give me some action. Like, look at this bell. That's where it gets its name from, the horn bell. Uh, look at that. Yes. Are they fighting? Are they mating? I don't know. One of the two. The beauty of this country, they never know a serious thing until marriage are far and so what a nice bliss we love. All right, so now we're gonna go look at King Julian. But King Julian is a lemur, right? We're gonna go look at King Julian. <laughs> yes, there he is. King Julian and his subjects. Hi, 
hiking, Julian? It looks, yeah, it looks like a pig, but this is a meat um, garland. So let me see what this is. Oh, yes, it's like a pig. It's a piglet. So garland represents a major success for Nashville Zoo and for the species survival plan, a collaborative program between AZ accredited zoos. As a garland grows, a role in the SSP will be evaluated and depending on her genetics, she could be sent to another, another zoo to be matched with a potential mate. Okay. okay so we're gonna go on the swing bridge. <laughs> What did you just call me? Looks like she made it. So excited. Champion, you understand? A champion. Now we're looking at the spider monkeys. Look at that. And let me see what defines a spider monkey. Alright, so this is the Mexican spider monkey. Spider monkeys have only four fingers on their hands. Their habitat is the upper rainforest, lifespan of up to 30 years. And then there's some additional information. All right, so on this wall, they're showing you the 24 species and subspecies that are critically endangered. And we have from the bald, okay, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. They have the black capped squirrel monkey, the common squirrel monkey, and it goes across the board. And they're endangered for a number of reasons. Persons killing them for sport, for food, for fun, you know. What do you like about the zoo? Animals. You know, I, when it comes to zoos, zoos and um, oh, Kali, what's it called? And aquariums and anything that has to deal with animals in an enclosed space, persons are always gonna have their pros and their cons. But even though it can be seen as a negative, you also have to look at the positive side. Zoos teach you about animals and how to interact with different species you know in life and it is just something that is so surreal not everyone has the opportunity to see these animals on a day-to-day -day basis or whatnot but still you know you can come to the zoo you can look at them you can read about them you can learn i see zoos as a learning experience all right, so these, we're, we're gonna see the flamingos. Man, I spent the entire week cooped up in the house because I was just not feeling my best. And I'm just so happy that I made the decision to come outside, you know, and... Ooh, this is nice! <laughs> I saw like a girl on TikTok, oh. But I'm really glad that I got outside of the house and breathed in some fresh air. I'm just so grateful that I have life and strength and love. Look at this. Ooh, this is nice. What are you reading? I saw now we're looking at the flamingos. And flamingos are curious looking birds, perfectly adapted for the environment. 
think pink flamingos are easily identified by their pink color caribbean flamingos have the most vibrant pink of all six flamingo species thank you yes we do caribbean the best yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> always winning all right so they are born gray and only be begin to turn pink at age six to ten months so it was false what you thought color you know i heard that um flamingos got their color from eating shrimp and it actually i'm not sure if it's only shrimp but it it kind of alludes to that they're so beautiful so beautiful and i was reading on that it says if humans ate three large carrots a day our skin would also start to turn orange which is super cool i think <laughs> So I've been here for about 20 minutes now and I'm just like taking it all in just relaxing, you know. I'm just relaxing. The sun is good. The breeze is good. Aren't they pretty? They're very pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go play with some goats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, well, there's a turtle enclosure too. Damn. They're not gonna like it. They're goats. Not bite. Like, hit me with their heads. <laughs> you get it, let's go. <laughs> okay. I'm not afraid and I'm not afraid. It's just that I know how good tandem of a temper. You get me? I, I don't want to touch this, you. This goat is dangerous. Hungry. Yeah. I said these are llamas. They're huge. <laughs> Big. I don't want to get too close. You never know. Hi, Billy. Come on, Billy. Don't run away. Billy, don't run. Come back. I'm going to play with another one. Let's season him. I'm going to say I'm going to go with God. Lord God. I'm going to season him. Curry him down with some white rice. What's wrong with you, man? Hi. Can I touch you? Is it okay? Hi. Aww. Such a good girl or boy, I'm not sure. How are you? How's life treating you? Huh? I want to think. That's me. Hello. Hello. Alright, thank you. La, 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 la. Hmm. It's dark in here. And these are like spiders and stuff. And I do not like creepy crawlers. So this is a lizard. He's big. Look at you. Hi. Oh, look at the snake. How are ya? I saw less than a snake. That's a big snake right there. Let's see if he moves. I could eat a human right Oh, there. I could not. Yeah? I could. I, I'm not gonna lie. It's the bigger ones that eat us. But you see the rattle at the end of its tail? Yeah, it's a rattlesnake. Yeah. It's a rattlesnake? Yeah. So rattlesnakes, large, dangerous, but rarely seen. And we're still in the snake enclosure. Now this is a indigo snake. We are in the wild. Indigo snakes are threatened by habitat loss. This that you guys are looking at, it's pretending that it's dead. But look, 
there's actually stuff moving inside its mouth. So this is the alligator snapping turtle. And it stays like that until a fish goes inside its mouth and then it closes and just eats it. Damn, this is what you call true to the cause, determined. You get me? Come on, go eat by any means necessary. Even if my am is tiny or so, like for one hour, I'm gonna just dead yourself. Nah, nah, they say hunting in one spot for weeks at a time. So it could be like this for like a whole week. That is crazy. Things we're doing in our life for food. Alright, so these are short tailed leaf nose bats. Fly by night, guided by their sense of smell. These swift flyers search for ripe food. After feeding, they return to roots where they sleep until dusk. Alright, so I know you guys are probably wondering why are the frogs just sitting on top of the snake and he's not doing anything. I learned this on the animal channel that brightly colored frogs, they're poisonous and animals know this. So that's why they're able to coexist in the same space. And the most dangerous ones are the ones with the brightest colors. So as you can see, the orange, they would be the most deadly. And this is just super cool. Oh, no, no, we can't go in there, though. Well, this is a so now I'm gonna check out the meerkat enclosure. Let's see this. Scary. Let's go. What? <laughs> There might be some spiders in there. You know they got worms on the side of the walls? Baby. I see one. You see a worm? Yeah, right there. Where? At the side of the wall. Where? Oh, are you scared? first thank you guys for joining me for today's vlog and i hope you enjoyed it this was such a nice experience for me this is my second time at nashville zoo the last time i was here it was in 2019 and it is still such like a great experience i sort of want to ask you guys is what was your favorite part mine was the flamingos there's just something about flamingos they're so pretty yet calm and just I just love looking at them. It brings me a real peace looking at flamingos. And I know that sounds weird, but that's just me. And also the goats. Yes. <laughs> I love the part with the goat them. I don't know, I just I miss Jamaica. And I just can't wait for touch back down. Touch back down a yard. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.